and um, you may remember the centre of this speaker was in fact uh, well it was just completely mashed up like cornflakes so what I did was I cut out the um, bad part and um, then I've, I've got the speaker cone from another good speaker which is out of one of them silly little toy amplifiers and I cut a piece out to fit put it in there uh, the centre piece then I had to join the um, cone to the voice coil the um, the leads to the voice coil winding um, were intact uh, so I didn't have to touch those and I used a toilet roll it just fitted exactly with um, a super glue gel which is slightly flexible we'll have to see what the results are of that and um, obviously pack it in the corners as I've already explained and so now it's uh, it's it's fine that's centered all right and now what I'm doing is just um, putting some thick blackboard paint on this um, so it looks better and will make it stronger and uh, vul no, you know, more more um, resistant to any weathering effects um, I should have put some packing in the center piece really to stop anything from falling into the voice coil um, I, I did have it in there when I was working on it but I, I've, I've checked and there's nothing that fell down in between the voice coil and the magnet I know professional speaker repairers and uh, other people like me and even idiots will be saying, oh my god, oh my god, what's he doing? <laughs> but, um, this has cost me nothing so far to repair this. It's my first speaker repair and um, I think it'll be alright. If it's not, then uh, I'll do it again. No problem. Um, and if, uh, you know, if I can't fix it up myself, then I'll just take it in and get it free cone. This is the part I need to be a bit more careful there because um, I don't want to get any on the voice coil itself at this point. So I'll just, I'm going to switch the camera off while I finish this little part. I've still got the uh, dust cap to put back on there. And um, we'll come back to that in a moment. Now there we've got the <coughs> painting done. And uh, it doesn't look very pretty, but uh, once I've got the cap on there, it'll be much better. So now we we'll just wait for that to dry now. Speaking now, I've got it plugged in. And uh, there's sound coming out. So we'll just give it a test with the microphone. Oops, a bit of feedback. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, 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 mm, one, two, three, four. Test one, two. Uh, turn the volume up a bit. We've got a slight buzz on it, so what I'm going to do is, and that's a 150 watt amp, um, there's a slight buzz, so I'm going to remove the speaker because I suspect there might be some rattling coming from the back there. And um, also, we do have still got a bit of a gap where I've uh, moved that down, so that could be where the. <laughs> Thank you. 